Welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Gold, and thank you so much for being with us today. I have the pleasure of being joined today by Dr. Caroli Mernix. And Dr. Mernix uh, started as the new director of the Monroe Meyer Institute. Caroli, welcome, and, and thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Well, I think our audience would like to know, and I'd like to you know, ask you to reflect on your first couple of months here. Uh, I know you came with a lot of great expectations. What were some of the things that excited you about joining our team here in Nebraska? So first, let me start with that, that all my expectations have been already exceeded. That's great. Uh, the first thing that it was obvious that this is a very caring, dedicated community. The second, the quality of the providers and the quality of the services provided in general are among the best that you can find in the United States. The third is the institutional vision. Uh, in a way, I completely identify with this philosophy that challenges are opportunities and that we have to do better and we can always do better. And finally, there is an amazing growth potential. And this growth potential will allow us to be one of the leaders in the whole United States in IDD care. Well, that's really exciting because I know uh, the incidents, the number of children and young adults that are now being diagnosed with developmental disabilities continues to rise. And I know there's a perception and probably a reality of tremendous shortages of services across the country and in this community as well. Is, is that not true? That's absolutely true. And uh, there are really challenges uh, that all intellectual and developmental disability care institutions face. And these, uh, they are facing first that you have to identify the disorder on time and start treatment on time. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second would be that you have to co develop a comprehensive care uh, for the uh, child based on the identified needs and you have to follow through. And the third is we are living in a different era where uh, children with in intellectual and developmental disabilities grow up. Sure. And at this point we have to provide that continuous care across the lifespan. Well, I know as we've talked about this, there are literally hundreds of initiatives that you've already undertaken at MMI, but you, could you share with our audience maybe one or two that were of significant importance to you? So probably the, the most significant for me is right now the waiting time. As you know, the earlier we diagnose, the earlier we start the treatment, the better the outcome, ultimately. And uh, some of the Specialties had very long waiting times and we had to address it. And by reorganizing, hiring, thinking it through from a waiting time of 1.3 years for genetic medicine services, mm -hmm. we will be able to reduce the waiting time to virtually zero. Wow. And this is really by systematically looking at it, how can we do better and how can we better organize our enterprise. Uh, the Similarly, in psychology, we went just in a couple of weeks from five weeks of waiting time or six weeks of waiting time for an appointment to below two weeks. So these are some of the big wins and big priorities that we would like to achieve very quickly. And beyond that, we really want to engage with the community and this community engagement is one of my top priorities. We would like uh, expanded theater program, uh, adult aftercare, after hours care, performing arts, bring to MMI, uh, work with healing arts, Y arts, and the whole art community and the broader community in virtually every aspect and organize all the providers or anyone who has a stake in intellectual and developmental disabilities statewide. Uh, the playing ground is not the city, we are a major player in the state, and beyond that, we are a major player in the whole world in IDD care. 
And I think that we start with that, that we really want to create an amazing database of all the providers here across the state that would be searchable based on the location, based on the specialty that you need, based on uh, pretty much anything that you can imagine. Well, that's super. You know, I'm sure if we put ourselves in the place of one of these families with a child or a young adult who needs care, having a very short waiting period would be very much appreciated. Caroli, thank you very much for being with us today. We certainly wish you the best of luck. We welcome you and your family to our community. And thank you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. <laughs>